YouTube, please get this guy out of my recommendations, I swear to God. Hello Blazers, no fuck is that, how guys doing today, welcome to a brand new video. Today's video guys, we're gonna be talking to a guy who's been plaguing my recommendations for a while though. This guy has bought every single Soldier Boy device and tech gear out there. And he also recently tried to sell the, the meme Big Chungus as a game to GameStop. And it's just, I, I just, I just want to end my life. <laughs> Don't look at this video as a roast video or anything, I'm just really fascinated by this guy's crafts and arts and uh, he's been in my recommendations 24-7 recently, I just want to check it out with you guys and uh, pinpoint some moments that are pretty cringe and just overall check out the genius of modern YouTube creators. So there's this guy on YouTube whose name is Tala Oliviella. Olive, 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 Oliveira. <laughs> Tali Oliveira. This guy has been my recommendations for the past like three weeks, okay? And when I first saw his videos, I just didn't want to click because the thumbnails really remind me of Fernando, you know, the guy who was uh, saying that he got GTA 6 early in the mail. I got the game! He's just the absolute same, honestly. Like, there's no difference whatsoever. You know, he's got a bit of this, a little bit of this, a bit of this. <laughs> and of course the fucking Fernando face like this. Like guys, Fernando's back. Fernando's back in black, baby. He's back to take over YouTube. No! <laughs> This guy is a bit of a commentary tuber and Mr. Beast copycat because he tries to do type shit like very long videos that are trade just like what Mr. Beast does, like with great content, like saying every racial slur in the English language at once for 60 minutes straight. Yeah, I can say this is a real gamer right here, you know. He says the N word for an hour straight. Yeah. Racial, 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 Soldier Boy, the retired, you know, washed out rapper, has gone absolutely insane and he released his own uh, line of game consoles, uh, phones, headphones, and other tech, which is just Chinese shit that's rebranded as Soldier Game Console, or Soldier Phone, or Soldier Pods, and he just sells them on his website for a bigger price than it should be. And this guy right here has been feeding into this for quite a while, so he has made a video on him buying the Soldier Video Game Console for Soldier's new video game console. For the soldier watch, soldier pods, and soldier headphones, and also the soldier phone. Now, I don't know why would you make so much videos on exactly the same thing, but uh, in the first video, he basically goes and buys the soldier game console and then he just, you know, does a little review of it. The soldier game console and the soldier game handheld. DC power cable going on here. HDMI? That's pretty technologically impressive for Soldier Boy. I actually like that type of content. When I used to be a kid, I used to watch like Chinese iPhone reviews to so have a little giggle. Then he does the Fernando type shit. Basically, he goes into GameStop and tries to sell them the Soldier Game console. This thing right here. The, the Soldier Boy. <laughs> is that actually Yeah, yeah that's, that's what it ended up Number being. Number one, why did you buy it? <laughs> I wanted to see what's up. And then I'm curious if you guys actually no. take these. <laughs> Hell no. So it's pretty obvious that GameStop doesn't want to buy the Soldier Game Console from him because it's not a real thing. So he goes and destroys it with the weakest hits with the hammer I've ever seen in my entire life, okay? Let's just get to smashing, see what happens. Oh my god, cool. Oh, it's on. Okay. We fully exposed the Soldier Boy game console. Let's open this bad boy up. You know, you didn't really have to destroy it in order to uh, say what's inside. You know, a screwdriver exists. Imagine if you were like a Jerry Rick everything video, and instead of actually unscrewing the iPhone and you know disassembling it, he would just fucking smash it with a with a hammer. So right, that video was cool. Then he made a new one, which is called "I bought the new retro mini Soldier game console for a thousand dollars." Needless to say, you know it costs only seventy dollars or eighty dollars, and uh, I don't know where the thousand dollars in the title came from. From. That's a uh, clickbait in my books. It is basically the exact same video. He just reviews the console, then again goes to GameStop again and attempts to sell it. Would you guys, you guys take um, consoles like these? 
This is the Soldier Game Retro Mini. No, I mean we just if it's not in the system, I can't buy it. I see. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the GameStop doesn't want to buy it again. Yes, guys, that's an epic joke, epic comedic payoff. We totally did not expect this turnout. GameStop didn't buy it again. That's insane. This time, however, instead of destroying it with the most weakest punches of all time, he just uh, gives it to a random kid. Now this was me just scoping for a kid who looked like he deserved this console, or at least would not maybe play it. I bought this video game console for a video, and I'd like to give it to this guy if he wants it. If you want to check it out, it's all yours, dude. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, goodness, Merry Christmas, guys. Yeah, no, for sure. It's, it's nothing too crazy, but it's kind of cool. Peace out, guys. Have a good one. This is actually pretty wholesome and nice. I just have one question, which is, uh, is the kid gonna be getting bullied at school now that he has the Soldier Boy console? <laughs> this gift might be more of a curse than a blessing. And moreover, how's he pick the person that he's gonna give the Soldier Game console to? Like, he's, he, he picks the kids from the poor families. <laughs> he also has another video in which he buys the Soldier Pass, the Soldier Headphones, and uh, the Soldier Watch. They're all trash again. He tries to sell them to the pawn shop. They don't accept it. And then he finds the kid that he gives it to. Okay guys, I initially planned on either selling those objects on eBay or giving them away to some of my subscribers. But in the end, I saw this kid at the thrift store, Goodwill. He looked like he would really appreciate some of those gadgets. So I decided to give them to him and hopefully you guys understand. Yeah, dude, he found a kid that looked like he might enjoy those presents. Uh, that's a nice way of saying that if I found a kid who looks poor. <laughs> I guess that's why he came to a thrift shop because like he, rich people don't buy shit at thrift shops, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Imagine that you're just going about your day, okay? And some guy comes up to you and he's like, yo, take this soldier game console. You, you're gonna be offended. It. You're gonna be like, bruh, you think I, I look that poor, bruh? I look that much like a broke ass nipper that you give me the fucking soldier game console. Come on, dog. Also, I guess one thing that I need to mention is that um, I actually can't see this because I have YouTube Premium, YouTube Red, but uh, people say that in his every video, which is like 10 minutes, he has like uh, 20 advertisements, 20 mid roll ads. And then instead, dude, you bought soldier game consoles and you want to get the money back, but come on. Come on, even I, a clickbait commentary channel, I put like three, okay? Ten on a ten minute video is, is a, it's a tiny bit ridiculous. Other than that, this guy also has the video about Big Chungus, in which he bought games for PS4 and Xbox One and prints its, uh, you know, papers for Big Chungus and put them inside and tried to sell it to GameStop and a fake guy who's like probably his friend bought it from him and he says it's not staged. Pick it. You'll buy it? Yeah. How much do you want to buy Big Chungus for? Which one do you want? I'll take the PS4. Any, uh, PS4? Any transaction, guys? I'm going to have to ask you. Ask you want to go outside? <laughs> Alrighty. He wants Big Chungus. Thanks, man. Well, GameStop didn't want to buy my Big Chungus, but some random dude did. Just made 10 bucks, folks. Sounds like an epic victory to me. Okay, guys, that's got to be one of the most serendipitous experiences I've ever had in my life. Um, I know I'm going to get tons of comments saying, oh, it was staged. But no freaking shit. It's pretty obvious it's fucking stage. Of course it's Big Chunk because everybody wants that shit, but I, I doubt, I, I don't believe this one, Chief. I don't. And this video has been recommended to absolutely everybody recently. But the video that I have a real problem with is the video that he made on the Soldier phone. Uh, you know, this guy is an iPhone user, which I am as well. I used to be an Android user for the longest time, now I have an iPhone. However, this guy reviews the Soldier phone, which is an Android phone, and he knows so little about tech and Android and smartphones. This review is just absolutely painful to look at. He does the phone review, he doesn't even do a benchmark or anything, doesn't do any app tests, doesn't play any games. You know, that's what people usually do when they review smartphones. There's one point in this video in which he says, what is an APK? Uh, you know. <laughs> music, download all my illegal music. There's my legally downloaded video, this is mine. APK, don't know what that is. Documents, Google Documents, I'm assuming. Compressors. And I'm sure even most iPhone users that never had an Android know this, that APK is like the NXA. It's like a file with which you can install any app on your Androids, okay? But this guy's just completely fucking clueless. And once again, the terrible clickbait, you know, saying that you bought a console for thousand dollars when you didn't. And the fucking Fernando face on the, on the pictures. Like that just makes me want to not ever see this in my recommended. And once again, I actually think the big chunk is video was cool, okay? But the, all the other ones, bruh, 
Do you have something better to do with your life? You know, I'm actually thinking that the majority, you know, people are saying that Soldier Boy actually made a couple of millions on this whole thing that he has with Soldier Game consoles and shit like that. I think that the majority of his profits and the majority of his sales actually came from not real customers, but YouTubers that wanted to review this shit and get clickbait views. Nobody's actually fucking buying the Soldier Game console. It's all just YouTubers that want to do reviews. That's, that's about it. You know, Soldier Boy, my man, you're really a genius for this one, honestly. Yeah, I, I didn't think this one through, but you were genius for this one. You a genius for this one. So yeah, guys, that just pretty much concludes for this episode of uh, I really don't want to see this guy in my recommended. You know, you just you all pretty much have had this happen to you when you see a particular person in your recommended all the time, and you're just like, why YouTube? Why are you doing this to me? Now, once again, I, I applaud the guy. Yo, know, he he got the YouTube algorithm on deck. He knows people are searching for the soldier game shits, especially after John Tron made a video on it and stuff, and they got a huge huge publicity basically. But just YouTube, please stop recommending this guy to me. I'm I'm, I'm almost I'm honestly tired. The big chunk of this video was kind of genius. It's Mr. Ble Mr. Beast level of good, but don't. Please don't, okay? Not until he changes his thumbnails from looking like fucking Sernando. Like, please, honestly, stop. <laughs> yeah, guys, I guess that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. Just want to take a little look at this guy. No roasting, no hard feelings, just pointing out some shit. Hope you guys did enjoy this video today. If you guys did, please make sure to slap the motherfucking like on it. And if you guys are going to want to support me on this channel, because, uh, you know, YouTube demonization is pretty bad, make sure to go over to my Patreon down in the description so I can buy a soldier game console and review it <laughs> yeah guys thank you so much for watching today's video and i will see you guys in the next one peace